The next sorting algorithm is bubble sort. Bubble sort iteratively goes through the list, swapping item pairs that are in the wrong order. The idea of bubble sort is that the smaller or lighter items rise or bubble on top and the larger or heavier items remain at the bottom. Let's sort this list using the bubble sort algorithm. The first step is to compare the first two items in the list. Since 5 is smaller than 7, we do nothing. Then we compare 7 and 3. Since 3 is less than 7, 3 will bubble up. We do this by swapping the values of 7 and 3. And then we compare 7 and 1. Since 1 is less than 7, 1 will bubble up. And then 7 and 6. Since 6 is less than 7, we swap 7 and 6. 7 is already sorted or 7 is already at the bottom of the list. Compare 5 and 3, swap them. Compare 5 and 1, swap them. Compare 5 and 6, do nothing. 6 is already sorted. Compare 3 and 1, swap them. Compare 3 and 5, do nothing. 5, 6, and 7 are sorted. And then compare 3 and 1, do nothing. And the list is already sorted. Here's the Python implementation of the bubble sort algorithm. The two operations in this algorithm are comparing the adjacent items and swapping them if their order is incorrect. Let us run this program. This is our program for the bubble sort algorithm. We are just going to print the list for every iteration of the algorithm. Let's run our program. So we have our list 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So 4 bubbles up and then 3 and 5 are swapped, 2 and 5 are swapped, 1 and 5 are swapped, 3 and 4 are swapped, 2 and 4, and then 4 and 1 are swapped, and then 5, and then 2 and 3 are swapped, 3 and 1 are swapped, and then finally, 1 and 2 are swapped. That is our sorted list. So those are two sorting algorithms that we can use in arranging the items in the list, either in ascending or in descending order. There are several more sorting algorithms available that are faster and more efficient compared to selection and bubble sort. These sorting algorithms will be discussed in one of your higher computer science courses. The next topics in ComSci 12 involve several aspects of computer science such as number systems, machine organization, programming languages, and operating systems.